this uh, all the white uh, we want. Uh, we June 11, 2012, we scheduled a meeting from the June 4th. Meeting opened by President Pro Tem Gray Park. Minutes were read and approved with the motion by Larry and the second by Fran. All in favor. Bills were read and approved with them to pay with the motion by Jeff, the second by Marsha. All, all board members were in favor. Um, the board will vote to pay the last installment to the North Central Illinois Council of Government in August. The final payment will need to be paid by September. Uh, treasury report was read, approved, and placed on file with the motion by Florence and the second by Marsha with all board members in favor. Appropriations for new fiscal year were passed with a motion by Pratt, a second by Jeff, with all members in favor. Total appropriations were $108,050 for the Water Department and $104,400 for general funds. The board voted to increase the trash pickup by $1, from $8 to $9, because the village has been paying Murphy's the extra dollar for quite some time now. This was done with a motion by Larry, a second by Jeff, with all in favor. Uh, the board never all agreed on the following appointments. Attorney David Cover, engineers Bruner Cooper and Zuck, uh, Shane Delroy for the Water Department, Water Control Department, Larry Townsend would be the park maintenance, Jeff O'Brien would be in charge of the roads and the streets. The auditor will be appointed when it can be determined that the village can find someone to do it cheaper and said we're going to talk to Gulf to Calvert's. Uh, Calvert Tax Service in Kiwani and Compton's and Altona were mentioned to contact. The current auditor has raised, has raised the price of the audit from last year. Uh, All right. Well, wonderful. Let's see. President Pro Tem received papers from the county engineer about the weight restrictions on the road, which he read to the board. A decision on this will be made at a later date. Dean Rosebeck will replace the water riser at Hazel King's so it can be turned off to fix the leak in Hazel's house. A motion by Larry and a second by Fran all were in favor of this as this needs to be done as soon as possible. Dean stated that he would go ahead and fill in the holes at the park, though they were not really part of the Waterville project. Uh, President Pro Tim partly will talk to Craig Shire about filling up the fire department's tank truck only one time during a 24-hour period. Jeff will be replacing Burt Bert with the weed spray. This will be voted on at the next meeting. The water bill increase will be on the agenda for next month also to be voted on. Um, Larry confronted John Valentine from the Star County News after the subject was brought up by Fran about a secret meeting the village had supposedly had in March. Mr. Valentine denied saying, we held it, he had said we had held an illegal meeting. But Robin Bartley had a copy of the newspaper article at the meeting stating otherwise. Larry then asked Mr. Valentine uh, why no board members were contacted or interviewed about this before he printed the article. He also asked him if, Larry also asked him if it was hearsay that he had just heard it from somebody. All board members, the village clerk, President Pro Tem stated that no such meeting had taken place and the article was false. The only meeting held in March was a regular monthly board meeting. With all business concluded, a motion by Jeff, a second by Larry, we adjourned at 7.15 p.m. Any changes or additions? A motion to approve the months, please. Make a motion to approve the Second. With uh, Florence. All favor, say aye, please. Aye. All right. The next uh, bit of business here. Huh? Go ahead. I'll be more of a Oh, yeah. Uh, we got a letter from. Uh, Marsha, she resigned. Uh, we've known about since a couple of days after the meeting. Uh, 
Robin can add a little bit to this. I'll, I'll read what she wrote. Dear Mr. Barkley, I'm sorry to say that I am resigning my trustee position on the village board due to personal reasons. I have enjoyed the time spent serving the community and thank you for the opportunity. Marsha. No. So, and she called me and you want to talk to her, she'll tell you the same thing. She called me, she said she didn't want to put all this into the letter, but that she's been having some family issues, but not spending enough time with her family. We're also putting her on at least 10 hour days where she works at Brighton, maybe more. Um, she said to tell the board that she cannot believe how dedicated the board is, and she's sorry she can't be that, that dedicated but that she's been on the board, everybody's came to every meeting, and that the board's doing an excellent job, and she has no problem with any, anything that's being done with the board, and that we, everybody was working hard and doing what we thought were best for the community. She just wanted board members. I, I did not know it at the time, but I guess Marsha was somewhat pressured into coming on the board anyhow. So, so with that being said, I need a motion to uh, accept uh, Marsha over her resignation. All in favor, please say aye. Yes, sir. Yeah. And if you guys know anybody who makes responsible and wants to be on the board, please let me know. You know, I'll tell you what I was thinking. I was thinking, Dean, but the problem with Dean is is he's working second shift through the winter, so he, he won't be able to make most of the meetings. So unless he can ask him and get, you know, a couple hours off to run back over here from Wyoming because he's working on so. Yeah, he's, I talked to him about it a while back, and he said, I already can't worry, so what I'm doing out here is the over there, he said, my hour can go to the shop. Right. Well, I know that feeling, but I lose the money every time I come to uh, anyhow, all right, now we need to pay the bills. Yes. Okay, $163 to Icapo Printers, 50 water shut-off lines. Oh, the, water, the red tags. And 1,000 postcards for the water bills. The printing of the postcards. We had gotten postcards last month from the uh, post office, but they have to go to our campus to be printed. And that was $163. $729 to Murphy's for the trash pickup. $240. This is what we discussed over the PDC lab on the watchdog thing. And I think we talked to Shane. We talked to I talked to the lady at the watchdog then. Labs, and she said that we have been doing that for a few years. The agreement was a verbal agreement. She doesn't know who made the agreement. All she has on her computer screen that it was verbal. And then I talked to Shane, and he said that that is something that we've been doing. And what it is, it gives him a list of the testing that he's supposed to be doing, when he's supposed to be doing it, keeps him current on, on the water test. He knew immediately what it was. Okay, so we need to go ahead and pay that problem. Okay. I, I didn't know nothing about it. I, I recall it coming up at a board meeting, but I didn't recall whether we actually sent paperwork in or what was going on. No, it was, that's what she said. It was a board meeting. So. $120 to Dean Rose back. That's for the backhoe and replacing the water riser, the new water riser at, Hel at a Hazel King's house. Okay, uh, $526.80, that was to Amarin, Illinois for the night lights. $450 to Barn Interest and Reserve, that's for transfer. $100 to the depreciation account for transfer. $261.99 to the State Bank of Tulane for the loan payment. $312.72 to Shane Milroy for wages for the Water Department. $111.69 to Lori for the Water Department. Okay. The bill came from Burntag for the chemicals. It's listed under merchandise, container deposit, cleaning, insurance and security. Okay. 
day. June the 12th, I got a bill for $956, okay? Two days later, I got a invoice saying we had $300 credit. So, I, to, I have to contact them to see if we actually paid $656 or the $956. I'd say just put the $656 there. We will more than certainly let us know. Yeah. Okay, you know, you guys decide what you want to do with that. I didn't put anything on it, on the voucher, the amount. Is that all right with everybody? We're just sending the 656. If we still owe them the 300 bucks, then we're going to pay the bill as well. They're constantly doing that, and they make it really confusing. You know, I mean, we constantly got a credit here, and then it's like we owe a bunch of money, and then we got a credit here. And I'm not sure exactly how we're ended up with the credits, but I'm happy with it. And it doesn't really explain anything on the second page. This list, the merchandise, the container, the cleaning, and all that. But on this one, all it just says is, this says container deposit $300. Now on here it says container deposit is $200. So, uh, you know. Let me see. Go right ahead, Larry. Uh, it's down at the bottom there where all the itemized stuff is. Do they, do they take one? Do they bring one and take one? They probably do. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Right. yeah there's a, well, no, there's a cleaning deposit on there, too. Right, right. Yeah, I right. so, yeah, see so. that. And I'm assuming that the lines and stuff is... I mean, Shane can probably better answer that. Yeah. yeah, you made a $300 deposit for a container. You gave the container back, so now you have a $300 credit. They charge you $200 for the container and the top of the here. That, that, this one has just always been up. Yeah. And that's I don't know why they do it. 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 It's been an issue with that place all the years I've been on the board. Every year. So, okay. Okay. Anyways. So we're sending them a quick $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656. $656
<laughs> right, exactly. And, and down low, we didn't know where we were splitting up. So. Okay, that should be all the notes. That's all? Can I get this? No, the village only had a couple of those. That's it, huh? Yep. That, that was the only one. That's all we saw. Why is it going to be that one? Well, because of the village. Oh, I'm sorry. $160. So you took it. I need to do my color. Yeah. I should have stayed in the couple. That's cheap. Wow. Most of them charge 300 plus an hour. I couldn't, I couldn't afford to go to They checked your matter of attorneys before. Three four years to see this. That. I was going out in four years. I, I had to take me 10 and I still wasn't going to help It's good lawyers. When you get that law degree, you just almost try to throw it. As far as I know, the average, you don't matter what you get, it's about 300 bucks an hour. They checked into the village check in by the attorneys before the kind of shot for the minutes. They all do all the same oh, well. judge. They all do the bar association. So they all charge the same amount. Oh, you know, that's, okay, that's, that's, that's kind of funny when you get a lawyer and you're going to go against this lawyer over here. They all do all the same place. That's all right. I need uh, she would have been a guy standing for something. Okay. I'll make a motion. <laughs> we need okay. We understand, okay. understand that he's working its magic. All in favor, please say aye. aye.
collection account pool beginning and ending balance $3,406.79. Total of collection accounts $32,722.45. Depreciation beginning balance $8,257.29. Transfer of $100, ending balance $8,357.29. Bond interest and reserve, beginning balance $5,658.94. Transfers of $450, ending balance $6,108.94. Total of all cash and water department, $47,188.68. Okay. The interest you show down here, is that for a month? The interest year to date is year to date. The first column is interest right. current month, but because we met so early this, this right. month, so I've ahead. not received it yet. Right, so one on here just for one month. Right. Yes, thanks. Aren't you glad you're uh, not loaning your money out there? No, I could find someplace else. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that needs to be uh, I need to have a question. Once, make it in, in, in 
installments? Wouldn't they rather, don't you think they would rather have it all at once? One I don't know. know. <laughs> Pardon? I said I hope the village would. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's up to you guys, whatever you decide. It don't make any difference to me. Huh? Does it affect the first of Yes. Well, that's the way I go about it. Yeah, I think it needs to go immediately, but it's something wrong. It, it's not like it's really a surprise to anyone. Anybody that lives in this community knew that when we started in on this project, by the end of it, we were going to have to raise the rate by a minimum of $5. Just to show these guys that, hey, we're trying to make it ahead on this thing. Well, you can do it $2.50 now. And I didn't write this one. Uh, six months from now, going up to it. Maybe six months from now, you have to go five bucks. You know, the cost of this $9 bill right. for kills is that for Yeah, we want to send a letter out to the customers. 
letting them know that there'll be a 250 increase in August in the water bill and another 250 increase in January of 2013 for a total of a $5 increase. And, and I also wanted that letter as a result why? That, that we have been getting grants. Fuel surcharges. Yeah, we've been getting grants, the prices have been going up. And the people, especially that we deal with grants with, want, want us to prove want us to prove that we can get ahead a little bit at least. You can post that to the newspaper. Okay, and it's right. Yeah. Everybody say, so if you cannot build your own well, Not that I'm aware of. We actually we have a well on our property. A well or a system? No, a well. Yeah. We have a well. Darcy has one. Now that is nobody ever filled it in. Grandfathered in before this was set right. up. Uh, that's what I'm getting at. Somebody, somebody could come in and, and drill their own well. Yeah. I, I'm not aware of any law that would stop them as long as they were following on all the, the protocol to it. Huh? Oh. Uh, that is as far as an ordinance goes to stop that? No, I don't think there is one. Oh, isn't there, isn't there a, a state ordinance all about hooking up to the city water supply every household in the city? I'm water? not sure about that. No, I think uh, it is. It I could be, but there's nothing to say that you still can't oh, tap oh. well. Uh, oh, but you still have to take the city water. Right. Right. It can be plumbed into your house, but you can shut it off inside your house. Right. No, I don't if, think if I want to drill a well, over here at my point. No, what we can do it. I sure. didn't think the state would have come out of So now you're running in our water. Well Lori's gonna see Lori's gonna see Shane tomorrow. She'll ask him about it. Oh, he should know. Oh, oh, well I I wouldn't think that you know there's like people that want to use well water to water with flowers in their gardens and, and things like that. Right. Right. Or, 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 without the chemicals in it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's just like your dad's bill. I don't want to do it. I don't want to bring in my own tanks. I cannot do it. No, you can't. Because it gets all of this kind of things. State law. State law says so you cannot have open tanks inside the state limit. Okay. But it does not state anything about a wind tower in your backyard. I don't think it does. For electricity. Right. Yes, Paul. You have a question, Tom? No. Oh, right. You wouldn't do me any good anyway, so No. I don't think I have a question to ask. Did you got a well? It's filled in. Oh, you're legally. Okay. It's been filled in legally. It has to be filled you in right here. with a certain... Uh, e by EPA standards. Right. They want you to put clay in and then certain types of soil on top of it. Yeah, them. and at the time we got the dirt from the state out here when they were doing the work out here on the highway, Bob got the dirt from out there for, so we could fill it in. And he had went to Henry County up there to that man that was up there at the time and uh, told it gave us a paper on how to do it all. And I still got it in my day. Because I seen it the other day when I was in there looking for something. Does it say anything about whether you can cap wells in villages or anything like that, you know? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Well, if you would, read it the same. Okay. But at one time, uh, the, what there, that well was okay, uh, was before we ever moved in there. Uh, there was uh, a well there open, and there was uh, the pump in the basement. And Bob got tired of messing around with it, and he took it out. So, uh, so we had a sister. We also had a cistern that we filled in and uh, that well. 
Yeah. Well, they wanted the cistern filled in the same way the well was, right? Yeah. Well, if we I keep going the roads we're going, we might need cisterns. I wasn't trying to get anybody to or anything else. I don't know. When they put it in the water system, I think it was mandatory to write how it looked like. I don't know. Well, that seems logical. Uh, well, because everybody has to pay for it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, even though I got there, you know, walkers down here, I think no, one time right. they had uh, a well. And they wanted to use the what? Uh, well, there was a confusion there over the well on the town mud. And they said you have to use the town water and not the well. Where is that? Pardon? Where was that at? Maker's old house? Yes. No. I was just told today or yesterday that used to be a two story home. Yes, it know. was. Because um, the guy that lived there. He got his chainsaw out and he cut the top. That is exactly what I was told. And that was been, that was that has been since he kept having his kids move back in. He had his kids move back in. He got tired of it, so he got his chainsaw out and chopped the top of his house off. That's it. That would be one way to get a little bit. Yeah, some people did a lot of things, guys. So they just cut their back net off. All right, so we're good on the water bill increase. Uh, the auditor, if you ladies like to speak about the auditor. I have a meeting tomorrow with Karen from Culberts, and I just have to take her a copy of our last audit, and she'll look through it and give me an idea of what it costs, what she needs from us, that kind of stuff. I did call Compton's. Um, I was told from his office that he is not a CPA, so he hires that kind of work out. Oh, so you subcontract. That would be Yeah, and then, um, you know, other, the other closest would be, you know, the emergency of the area. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really turned off by this auditor, and in all the years I've been on the board, I've never seen what was sent to me. And uh, first, the $1,000 increase really slows me, especially after what we went through last year. And and, oh, is it? I didn't know that. Oh, and the new employees have a new office. And then yeah. on top of it, the contract that he insists that we sign to have him do it, uh, I find, you know, they're basically saying that we ain't legally liable for nothing. Right. And that that's not doing your job, in my opinion. Yeah, if they make a mistake, they make it's not their fault. Right, exactly. I mean, and that's why we hire them. Right? I mean, it's kind of like a dog chasing his tail. Uh, so we're going to check into that. Robin's got something on Murphy's here. You probably want to hear. Okay. The actual written contract, when I talked to Gwen, she told me that it expired in 2008. If you don't do anything with it, they roll the contract over. The contract rolled over again last year in 2011. She said that it will keep rolling over unless we decide to change anything, you know, the, the trash company or something. But they will just continue to roll the contract over. And so they, it originally, the original contract expired in 2008. Well, Murphy's rolled it over. Well, January? Uh, June, I'm sorry, June. Oh. Yeah, but hold but on, it can't be rolled over at any time. Hold on, it can't we, be changed we can stop. At any time. We exactly. That's what I was getting ready yes. to say. Is if you guys decide you want to try this other garbage service, not at this meeting, but the next meeting, we can vote on that, and and we can uh, what do they call it? I mean, cancel their uh, contract. That's what she well, said. Days we're, days we're, days. we are not under any kind of signature. Right. Well, so, uh, she said, if you want to change anything, I'll just yes, stop. Yes, exactly. Stop. Well, no, we would just won't hold stop and say, you know, don't come back. We'll get a hold of them 30 or 60 days and let them know, hey, we're going to turn somebody else. Now, that's what she told me. She said, so if you decide to change something, just to let her know. And because otherwise, it will just keep rolling. She said nobody had contacted her um, <coughs> when they were not in contact with them, which were just uh, expired. And Right. 
No, no, no. No, it still is. They kept it under the same contract and just put it on. They're just rolling it over themselves. Which means that this is why we never got anything like year to year or every few years. We never had anything as far as I know. You, you and Lance were all over the we used, to, we, used to, we used to have a year, we used to have a yearly contract for Murphy's. Now I don't know when this whole rollover thing. You said 2008. No, it, it, the contract was up in 2008. So 2009 they had to start rolling it over. They rolled it over, and they rolled it over for three years at a time. She said. So it's like on a rollover. That way the insurance and everything still is is binding, and they roll it over for three years at a time. And that's what she told me. But to say we're in a binding contract Why would not be a true statement. If you want to change it, you can change it because nothing's ever been okay. signed let's, together. Let's just change it. Well, we can do it next month. Yeah, we can't month do it. Thursday. We can't do it tonight. It's not on the agenda. I just talked to her. She just called me back today. So. She's hard to get a hold of. I don't yeah, know if anybody's yeah. ever tried to get a hold of that place, but they're difficult to get a hold of. I get an answering machine a lot. And in fact, um, Lori, I want to can I say someone who is, I want to thank you for delivering the flyers. Yes. They sent, she never contacted anybody yeah. to change the trash pickup, okay? We all got an answering machine. She knows our phone number, she's called it. Lori, yesterday, we opened the Murphy's bill, and I guess she had put something in the Murphy's bill. Okay, we didn't get it until like the 28th or 29th. That's a little bit too late when they're going to pick up the trash Monday if you don't get the bill until five years Saturday, okay? Um, Lori typed up flyers, and her and uh, she's Jamie and Becca, or her, they went out door to door yesterday on Saturday afternoon. This is the third time this has happened. You guys know this. We did it before on Labor Day. And, and if I try to contact her and leave a message with questions about it, I don't get calls back. She took it door to door. So everybody knew to put their trash out this morning instead of tomorrow morning. That if you're not going to send the bill to the 28th, 29th, or 30th, then the trash is going to be picked up. You know, they're not open over the weekend. You can't get all of anybody. But Lori, I want to thank you very much for yes, doing that. I know yes, thank you, Lori. And you're she had to do it a couple yeah, times. She's up on my back door. My wife says, did you hear anybody at the back door? She says, no, I said, I heard the dog bark. Those one. That's why everybody is. She just wearing her uh, stealth outfit. Yeah. Yeah. And if anybody asks, that's why they got a flyer again. I'm sure they're probably used to this by now because we delivered the flyers before when we went contacted. I didn't hear it that way. I definitely want this on the agenda next month. Okay. Agenda. Okay. Anybody got anything else? I do. Yes, sir. I have, um, I got a guy that's rainy uh, over here in the tree trimmer in town. He's offered to exchange work with me to do some tree trimming, and I need to get with my permission to trim on the tree bordering my property in the library. That would be in her part, not mine. Okay, but we're talking several thousand dollars for the work. Yeah, he's insured. And I will be helping him do the work. And it would possibly take place this week. Oh, that's a so What are you taking the tree and getting it out of this? I'm not taking anything down. I'm thinning the back and getting the balance of the tree. Oh, okay. Balanced okay. out because a lot of it's leaning yeah, over the whole library. And I, told him, I see. And a lot of the stuff facing the west is snapped. So the balance it's of the bad. tree is starting to lean that way. And I want to get it thinned out so that. Can I ask, is it the one back by where they did the, the new um, septic and stuff? That big tree there? Yeah, that tree's good. Yeah. And it's a um, dynamic she, amount of wood, and I'm also wanting to ask the city if I could take some of the brush to our brush dump. Not logs, but we uh, can't run down there no more. No more do. Back here at the tracks, we can't. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Uh, my understanding, the last I heard about that is we cannot dump there and you cannot no longer burn there. Now that's the last I heard about it. I don't even know who owns the property. No. They, they own it? No. No? no. Are you sure? They rent it. Oh, yeah. Who is it? 
But the issue that we ran into last time, and the reason this all came about was, is we had that big storm. Right. And we needed a place to burn the trees that went down. Uh, the stall or whoever owns the property said, yeah, I'd go ahead and dump it there and burn it, okay? Well, suddenly we got lawn furniture here and down there, and then a couch, and, and then, you know, you know what I'm saying? People started using it for a dump. Well, if they go down there, I don't know if it was the fire department who lit it up or who lit it up. The wind's blowing 20 miles an hour out of the west. They light it up, it goes into a smoldering state at some point, and the smoke was overwhelming Mindy and Brian's house, which, well. It was, it was pretty big. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyhow, she called the EPA. And now this is coming from Carl when he was president. The EPA told him that we could no longer burn down there. Yeah, no paperwork. Which is the big step. Okay. We cleaned up the couch, the chairs, the furniture. Get that out of there. Then we could. Well, that was not what I was told. That was by Carl. The board was not told that. Um, I know somebody that's got the papers that says we can. Small brush. Just brush. Okay. Brush. Well, I need to see the legal papers before we do it. Oh, I can get. Okay. The railroad track. Is that railroad track property run right there? Yeah. Oh, that no, that belongs to Blevins out of Chicago. It's all rents. So we get. He rents it from the railroad company, or well, he's. Where is it from the people of Chicago? Because I know one thing, right. it, because the railroad took the abandoned and did not go back to the people that were say, oh, you had to go buy it. Right. If you wanted it, you had to go buy it. Right. Otherwise, it's still the railroad. Yeah. Well, so well, she tried to get the papers. Right. If she can't, that. I don't see why we could have called the EPA anyways. I mean, if she can't obtain, I don't we know it's about, but if, if, if you can't get them, then I don't see why we could have called the EPA. Because I, I won't take an issue with it. All I will say is when it's lit up, we need to look at where the wind's coming from. Because it's right. respectful for the wind. I'll just keep my mouth shut. But if, if my home was sitting there, I would not want that either. Right. Somebody else started to bring that under a control burning to one of the tracks. The fire department Yes, I helped right here so once. The city in Oxville had a public burning spot just about three or four months ago, and they sold permits to dump there, just like trash, trash, trash. They yeah. sold permits to put oh. trash in there. You had like a 48 hour period to put stuff in there. I see. That's something to think about. You put that on the agenda. But uh, well, I would say that's why it was shut down at that one time because of all of yeah, we suddenly had a couch up here and lawn furniture, and oh, God, then there was a bag of garbage down there. I know, because I was hauling trees out of my place, too. What, what we need to do then is put somebody in charge of it. So if somebody's got something, tree limbs and stuff, they have to go see so and so before they take it down. Right? Right. Right. You can't take a lot of it down. Right, you can't. Anything, trees are good. You can't haul a big old tree down there and dump it. That's a good yeah. Well, we did have that storm, though. There was whole trees down there. Right. Right. When the storm came through, we had yeah. Dallas men with all their trucks and payloads right. and stuff, and that was the only place right. I had to get rid of. Right. And we got the mix and dump it there. And once we dumped that there, then all hell broke. So right. right. You know, everybody was dumping everything. Yeah, you're right. Were, and that's when the EPA came in and says, no. But the big thing is, until you clean out, yeah, the power, the chair, and the floor. I guess uh, what Freddie was after, were they okay with logs, trees? Yeah. They're great big ones, but you can't. Yeah, we're not in control. We had, we had two. two. There's a guy right outside of two logs. Come get any logs you want. We had, we had two. We had one. He talked about that. And had a stuff. Of yeah, remember it took a long time to get we had to remove I thought it seemed like we did have a long time. Yeah, I got a question. Yes. Do I have a question to turn that through? As far as I'm concerned, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Yeah. 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 Yeah
see what he yeah. Yeah. Is anybody else taking it? It's going to fall on the library. The village owns the library building, right? building, so, you know. Yeah. Uh, Cindy One. Shipman is the president of the library. I'll contact her and let her know that you're going to do it. Yeah. Just like when you did when you went out and the veterans off, he's still, she's still the, the, the village owns the library. He can still come and let us know that he was going to be out there on the road when out there. So. Okay. okay. On that issue, are you going to take it over there? Or? Anything four inches and under, I think. Legal to take over to take over there. But okay. Anything gigantic is going to have to go right. someplace else. The reason I'm asking, I got uh, a couple of trees at the south east corner. It's on the same property. At the south east corner of Jared's cornfield. That is going on down with flight poles and. Uh, I wonder if you mind if I got a hold of Jeff and cut them down and put them on. I don't care. It's getting to the point where you can't see the other one. Oh, that down here? Oh, the other one, the other way. I think you're pretty sure. I've been down there and see. You know what? Let's get the fire department to come down and burn what's down there. Right. Well, I didn't even know there was anything down there. Oh, yeah. Well, there's there. All the stuff in the park here. All the stuff in the park that all the stuff in the park. Yeah. Burn that down for That's fine. He started burning down. Yeah, I well I agree, yeah. Like I said, the only thing I ask is when the winds howling out of the west don't ride her up. It causes a lot of time. You want to check in there? No, you check in the park. Uh, yeah, you want to put me in charge of that? Because on the streets. Well, that's on the street. That's I'll be more side to them down. That's one. You are in charge of the streets. And that's in the future, Jared's idea, that is a way of making money. A small permit fee. Two dollars, five dollars? For a 24 hour dumping period. Yep. Nothing extravagant, obviously. It it's it's dangerous. Dangerous. As long as it's not yeah. household. Right, it's got right. to be, it's got to be natural. Same thing that burning in the town. It's not supposed thing to be burned. Burning more, furniture. Don't put that one. Yeah. Well, all the that stuff that burns down. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Right. Can you do the site? We don't need a motion. We can just make it that way. To go down and personally. First, yeah, if it's legal, I just make it. These are the ones of the street things. You might want to put that. Yeah. 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 I didn't even know. It. I was under the impression we were supposed to be dumping down there, period. Well, see, that's oh, what we're doing. We're all cleaned up. up. We're all got cleaned up. Nobody saw any paperwork. Uh, but sure all got cleaned up. You're going to have that. Well, I mean, that's fine. Well, then, well, you know, so what we, we need is just that. Jeff or somebody in charge of it. Uh, okay. Freddie, I, I got one more omission yeah. for you, sir. <laughs> that, is, that big envelope sitting in front of you there right, yeah. is our emergency uh, disaster plan. I have one for the village. Could you kindly deliver that to Craig Shire? And then there's a letter there. This is yeah. what I'm pretty sure this is what the letter is because it came with our letter. And I mean, maybe you can open it, but they're doing a meeting in Thursday. For the village. No, I was getting ready to ask you. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, well he's reading it. The letter there is pertaining to a meeting they're going to uh, take care of of the emergency plan disaster bill there. If you would attend that for our village, I would very much appreciate it. I know. When is that? Is that Thursday night? That was last Thursday, that meeting. Oh, really? We just got the, the letter today. Yeah. yeah. yeah the, two there, of them today. there was only three of us there. Uh, so. uh, well, that might be why. The letters didn't get out to us, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to adjourn anyhow. Probably. I believe it says Thursday the 29th. It does. It does. And Thursday was the 28th, but <laughs> we'll wait all it night. was Thursday. I didn't think when we looked at it that close, because this is already July. Oh, well, it's Monday.
sir. Please don't let the dog in the park. Get the play on there. Well, kiss my, you know what? I said, spit, give me a hint where to start. And I'll try. And he said, well, he's not, well, I'll clean it up over here. Don't worry about it. I'd like to have a sign saying no animals in the park. No animals in the park? No animals in the park. I, I, really I don't know about home. that one, Larry. But you like to go over there and walk in that stuff? Well, no, I don't, but I mean, oh. the thing it is, I think it'd be more appropriate maybe to put up, clean up your dog too. <laughs> I think there needs to be signs put up. Yeah, that's what right. I'm saying. Yeah. Put some signs up and say, you, you know, I mean, it, it, uh, taking a park and saying you can't have pets and it's going a little far. I, I mean, I understand your, your point, but. Uh, you know, it's just. It, it will go away I know, sooner or later. I, admit it, I don't know who keeps walking their animals in the park over wow. here. Every time we walk, Good. we end up with on the tire. Chambers and this got a giant know. dog. That's the only dog I've seen up here. So oh. down the street, a great big dog. I don't know who's doing it. I guess. In Toulon, you cannot have pets in the park. No, that's in Toulon. <laughs> Oh. Sounds like a good thing to adopt here. Isn't that, that may be I mean, I can't stop you from making the motion, Larry. I, 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 well, I want to be discussing the rest of the people on the board to see how they feel. Right. right. Sure, go ahead. I, well, I know I'll add to that. Um, a lot of parks I've been to have a dispenser for bags. Yes. Just yeah. like in the rest of People are responsible for cleaning up after their pets so that something like this doesn't occur. Exactly. I take my kids over quite regularly. I don't want I don't think you can stop people. There's dog parks all over America, you know. And there's dog parks, but but there's not a playground in these dog are park companions for your kids, right? But you got to understand that somebody's pet is also a companion, and walking down the street. Look over here on everybody's property, right out there on the street, and just move all up down the street they want to. But not in the park. I think we ought to just post a paper saying that people want to walk the dogs in the park. You know, doing their dogs in the park. You know, it, it, maybe clean up after they get back. I, I kind of like Florence's ideal because you know, when you go into a rest area, like they, they put the little bags there so you can pick the dog poop up. We're just talking about saving money. Yeah, I know, but you know, what are we talking here? Ten bucks or something? I, I mean, they, they don't cost that much. Well, I'll tell you what will happen right now. The best of kids in town will get bored and bored. Don't say to be all of us. Yeah, well. <laughs> well, then we need to put it on the six. Wait! <laughs> climb yes. the tree. Okay, Go Becky walks all the time. She carries a bag with her. Or not, and whether uh, she's got a dog with her or not. No. No, sometimes she does, but sometimes she doesn't. But she picks up. She carries food. Do you know what that is? She carries food. That bag? There's food. There's real little teeny weeny pieces of food that she, meat that she's got cut up that she will feed the dog. I know that for a fact. She, she feeds, she feeds feed. my dog. And oh, I don't my. appreciate I knew she carried around a bag when she walked. It's a good thing my dogs don't know about this. Park District, I believe it is. Yeah. 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 In our municipal borders, yeah. I mean, who you want to do it at the test park? Well, like I said, we'll leave this one to the board. I've stated how I feel about it, but, you know. Does anybody know what's happening in the park district down there? They don't do anything down there? Well, they've had stuff up here in the window. Somebody's they're just out of money, or they're working on it? They've been they're, working they're on it. They're money, but they're doing the best they can. Yeah, they don't have any money like we don't have any and no one else. Well, they're worse yeah. off than you guys. It's just kind of hard to do. They've got, they've got, they've got all their things going on that board. Well, they can't go on it. That's right. Mom's got things to buy. <laughs> I make the motion we adjourn. I uh, need a second on that. Okay. 
There's two. Anybody else got anything? There's two. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're done. Uh, who seconded it? Yeah. Yes.